If you have clicked on this video, then you're probably curious to know whether that friend, aunt, sibling, parent, or even grandparent who is currently living in Germany can sponsor you to study for either a bachelor's or a master's degree in Germany. The short answer is yes. Yes, they can. Great, but there's a but. There's always a but. What is the but? But it's a little bit of a complicated process so i hope by the end of this video everything about the declaration of commitment for the german student visa will be much more clear today's video was actually requested by one of you guys my lovely subscribers so yeah keep the requests in the comment section coming and i will keep making these videos also thank you for the support lately as you can see we are now at 200 subs or actually we are above 200 subs by the end of the year we can hopefully reach a thousand so if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and let's get started so that the new viewers and hopefully new subscribers are on the same page as everyone else in a previous video i said this in order to get a german student visa you will need to prove that you have adequate funds to support yourself in germany and this is done in one of three ways the first way is through a scholarship from an institution such as the daad alternatively someone with permanent residence in germany can guarantee the aliens registration office to cover your expenses while you study here in germany and finally the most common way to finance your studies here in germany is through the blocked account method i've already made a video talking about the blocked account for the German student visa. So in today's episode, we are only focusing on the declaration of commitment or the Verpflichtungserklärung as a way of providing proof of finance for the German student visa. I know I've probably butchered that German pronunciation. <laughs> The declaration of commitment is a formal obligation by a resident of Germany to cover all the costs associated with living in Germany incurred by a student. If you are curious to know which costs those are, I have already made a video talking about how much I spend on average on a monthly basis as an international student living in Germany. After you're done watching this particular video, Check out the link in the top right corner or in the description down below. The commitment is valid for the duration of studies and has a maximum limit of up to five years. More importantly, the declaration of commitment would not be valid anymore if the individual being sponsored permanently leaves Germany Two, the document's validity period expires. So for example, if the original agreement was for two years and the student is not able to complete the studies, the commitment can be further extended, but only through reapplication. And finally, three, if the purpose of stay for the sponsored individual changes. So this can happen, for example, if the student graduates and converts the study visa into a job seeker visa. There is a non-refundable application fee of 29 euro, but this fee is paid by the sponsor. It's also important to note that in case the sponsor is found to lack credit worthiness, is that really the correct way of saying it. What I am basically trying to say is that in case the sponsor doesn't have the financial means to support the student or the student visa application is rejected, the sponsor does not get his or her money back. Remember when I said that it's a complicated process earlier in the video? Well, this is where things start to get tricky, so pay attention. The sponsor needs to, one, 
be residing in Germany, which basically means that they have to have a registered living address in Germany. Two, the sponsor also needs to either be a citizen of Germany or the EU or have a valid residence permit for the entire duration of study. Three, he or she must not be receiving social benefits such as unemployment benefits. Also, the sponsor should not be an asylum seeker in Germany. Five, the sponsor should not have a temporary residence status such as a doldung, which is basically a temporary suspension of deportation. And finally, six, he or she should have sufficient credit worthiness, which basically means that the sponsor should have enough money to cover all the expenses of the student plus his or her own individual expenses at the same time. Basically, to be able to become a sponsor, you need to submit quite a few documents, which we will look at next, of course. But generally, to sponsor one student, an individual who is single and living in Munich should earn a minimum of 2,270 euro per month. If, for example, the sponsor has a wife and kids, he will need to be earning way more, as shown below. In order to apply for a sponsorship, an individual should submit one, a completely filled declaration of commitment application form. Two, he or she should provide proof of income, which changes depending on how the sponsor makes their money. So for example, if the sponsor is employed, they will have to submit up to six months salary statement, their contract of employment, and a formal letter from the employer confirming that the sponsor is still employed by the company. Also, the letter must be issued within two weeks before applying for the declaration of commitment. On the other hand, if the sponsor is self-employed, they will need to submit a tax registration certificate, the latest income tax statement, and a certificate of monthly net income which is usually produced by a tax consultant and then signed by the sponsor. On top of that, the third requirement would be an original and a copy of the sponsor's passport or ID. Fourth document is a certificate of registration showing the host's address. Five is a rental contract accompanied by a letter from the sponsor's landlord. Requirement number six, is the personal details of the individual being sponsored. These are things basically such as the names, age, marriage status, and so on. And finally, seven is the information about the individual's reason for coming to Germany and how long they plan to stay. So for example, the sponsor may need to submit the acceptance letter from the German university the student was accepted to. Step number one, the sponsor needs to book an appointment online with the foreigner's authority. The easiest way to do so is by going on to Google and typing in this word plus the city the sponsor is currently in and you will immediately see the website of the relevant authority. Step number two, the sponsor needs to ensure that he has all the required documents and then he will need to physically attend the appointment in person and finally step number three the sponsor will then be required to pay the 29 euro either in cash or by card and wait about 20 minutes for the application to be processed and if the application is successful a two-page document is immediately issued to the sponsor this two-page document is what we've been talking about and i'll leave a sample on the screen Now that the sponsor has obtained the declaration of commitment, he or she needs to physically mail the document to the person applying for the student visa, preferably by using a service such as DHL, 
as this is a sensitive document and the last thing you'd want is for it to get lost. It is also important to note that without submitting the original copy of the document, the visa will be rejected. If the document is lost or damaged before the visa appointment, the sponsor has to go through the application process again. The answer to this is a simple no. Once a sponsor makes the commitment, they cannot later revoke before the agreed period of time elapses. But another individual can choose to take on this responsibility and replace the original sponsor, but that will be a whole other complicated process. And there you have it. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. If you have any questions or any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments section. But until next time, bye!